if you struggle with blending your background I'm going to show you today how to blend your background element page into your journal page. We will use some paints, we will use some glue, scissors, we will use some basic supplies, some acrylics and I'm going to show you how to actually add our element into a page. Let's grab something nice and pretty for our background and I'm thinking I love this one. I have to say um, this was one of my absolutely favorite images. I purposely wish to um, rip it because I think when you cut it straight it is much more so that's tip number one it is much more difficult to blend in the straight line then I think when it's a little bit ripped apart now also the ripping it does depend how you rip you can rip like that so you have the white here or you can rip opposite direction rip like this or rip, li rip like this I hope that makes sense I'm gonna rip like this so I'm gonna have the white left there and not on my top part and my top part is going to be nice and ripped you will see for yourself in a second this is one of the probably best ways to have your to have your background starting now there we go oh lovely it's a gorgeous image it is actually elsewhere which is I think here there we go it's in a different little color scheme and it has a smaller size because I thought this is the most beautiful image I have ever seen <laughs> honestly I just love it so much so I'm thinking to use it um, somewhere here I hope and this one is coming from the Animalia volume 1 and from the Animalia volume 2 I thought to use also some watery element now do I have a plan for this book uh, for this uh, page honestly I, I honestly honestly I don't we have used our author in the previous page but I was thinking about these dockies and they could have been going somewhere here together or something so I'm gonna do quite similar idea now this is volume two if you're wondering mm, I've asked you on my Facebook group of our on our Facebook group mm, cutting collage with Maremi I've asked you what would you like to see on the next project a lot of you have said you have a trouble with blending so that's no problem and also with Animalia book and I'm not surprised because it's a not a, it's not a typical M. Ferra book as you can see it is backgroundy it's a vintagey it's it's a different sort of book and yes you may have trouble but here I am the reason as well why I'm making these videos is I wish you to have the book but also know how to use it I wish to teach you show you give you my ideas my thoughts my you know just make a project with you I think it's only great if we can learn things together and not only give you the books but actually show you how you can really use them not only in technicality but also how to make the actual project I think it's so valuable to see the projects now I love this what we see right now it's such a perfect combination also I decided to use <laughs> the two A4 sizes so it's like an A3 size actually it's the biggest I have ever worked in yes it is now we can swap as well let's see maybe that could that could be even nicer mm, that could be nicer indeed we shall see like this or like this I think honestly I don't know let's move on and let's see what else would we use now I love my newest rice papers all three sets so let's see what's here let's see which element could actually work lovely and I also thought I grabbed the old music notes because I also thought it would be so fabulous to somehow blend in these together not an easy task but I think it's doable so let's try to do that or old book pages and also maybe like this is gorgeous looking I love that top uh, top um, sky uh, what else we have here oh this is beautiful this is beautiful like it takes time guys to actually know 
what to use how to combine things together but I, I think it's so doable and the books in combination with the rice papers but even without them it is such a doable and pleasurable thing to do now I see what we have here for now I'm thinking I have an idea let's just start simple let's just start with the background and let's add a little bit of music notes on top I would love that I really would love that so let's just grab a little bit of music notes here let's say like that perfect and how about like something like this I usually like having the idea where I'm jumping with the top part and then uh, I somehow rip it on the angle <laughs> I don't know why. Now, we, whether, whether we will use the whole lot or not, I'm not too sure yet. We could have a little bit of that going on there or just like this, we shall see. Now, the other thing is that what else could we use from the books? I also think that some of you um, may love to use whimsical houses because these are also backgrounds. So let's see how we can blend in those backgrounds. Do we have anything that could be potentially matching with the chair? Now, the thing is that because I've created the books, all of the books are my own creations and all of the elements are my own creations. They do work with each other. If you really look through the books, whether you have the houses together with the animalia, they will work with each other. Whether you have, um, I don't know, flowers going with the houses, they will work with each other. Same for the fairies in bloom. Oh, maybe we'll do fairies in bloom, actually. Let's see the colors. Ooh, I love these colors. A lot of you are using the uh, cute little mm, mm, clouds I love them too I have to say now this is so pretty oh, do you know what I have no idea how she could fit in here I have no clue and I think she's doubtfully doubtfully there but I'm gonna chance it I would love to have her I think she's gorgeous I think I'm gonna work the color I'm gonna fussy cut her completely and I'm gonna mm, cut out here and I'm gonna work around the color so that we will actually have her matching the rest I don't know yet how I really don't because she's massive maybe I'm gonna get rid of this and just have this one ready here or maybe I'm gonna blend in these somehow with each other and maybe the oh imagine that now these could be here she could be on top of here they could be here together and this 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 part this this um, greenery let's say could be on top of here that could that could work and I'm gonna try and see let's see so I'm going to make sure that we have our docky there. Look. <laughs> of course I didn't plan anything. So it's not that I know what I'm doing. Quite opposite. Honestly, this is a pure pure play right now and that's what we that's what collaging is about, pure play. Now, I still feel that let's see if we have someone slightly smaller but equally beautiful that could be just there because i think she is slightly too big even though oh something that would fit in the middle wow we something that would fit in the middle and colors as well let's see <laughs> oh she could be just right However, I love the other image so very much, I have to say. <laughs> uh, this one, color-wise, let's see. <laughs> she could be there, color-wise. She's gorgeous indeed. Let's see. The, the, the choices, the, like how to choose it and all, it is not easy, I have to say. Oh, she's beautiful, isn't she? This one maybe a bit too small. I've seen so many of you using the bonus page, which is so fantastic. Okay, let's have a pick once more. I remember this image. I just love it so much. It's not for today's project, but it's so gorgeous. It is one of my most favorite. Um, okay. No. 
am I able to fit her even though she seems to be big or will we grab this one or this one this is nice as well if we could somehow have her let's see let's see <coughs> <clears throat> let's see I think that the problem is the choice is too big they're just so beautiful <laughs> I don't know which one to go for all right now what else oh wow we I just love it all so very much that it's just oh this is also beautiful could be on this side let's see in a minute okay let's grab that so we have our dogs. Could she be there somehow? She could, right? Or... No, no, that doesn't make sense. I'm still convinced that she could be there. I am still convinced she could be there. She could totally be there. She could. I, I really, <laughs> I really think she should be there even. Um yes <laughs> guys do you know the first thought the first initial thought was that i would love her to be there and i, I tell you why when you work with such a large surface <clears throat> excuse me cheers my friends it's morning actually i didn't tell you it's the first day of school back kids are back to school i'm so excited because hannah is finishing uh, an hour later now every day than the last whole year so it's fantastic because she's in the first class which means that there is more time for work and there is just this extra hour of um being present at work and then not thinking about it when it's finished and have a full connection with our girls when they're back i'm so excited for that extra hour and i'm gonna have probably even extra half an hour or even more from lucas because he's gonna walk for her to school which is fabulous but cheers my friends because you can hear my voice the morning voice good morning hello morning voice <coughs> so the why am i so into this big image and the reason that we had these huge images in the book is for pages purpose of pages like that when you have really big and two a4 size like like one one um a4 is already big look it's already like a big 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 look it's like huge in comparison to my hand so if you think about it it is really big 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 surface to work and i think you need to sort of uh decide for your images size wise for the size of your project so if the project is big like these we have a3 size i think it deserves to really that we should grab a really big images and that's one of them so it doesn't feel as small look at this it's still good it does it would work perfect but i think even better is that this one is bigger fuller and we can work around this something so i'm gonna fussy cut the girl right now i wonder if i should pause the video or fussy cut with you i may fussy cut a little bit and chat to you now i have to be honest i've been so looking forward the time with uh, without the girls in the studio on my own like lucas is around he's on the couch and he is doing right now work on the laptop emails checking orders and everything checking the tracking numbers checking that things are arriving and all it's like it's a busy plus he's actually <laughs> looking for a coffee maker as well because our coffee maker's machine is gone since few weeks and i'm really looking forward to a good nice coffee I love coffee you like guys I love coffee and it's no joke I really love coffee and I love my my mugs my Malaga mugs mug from Spain I love coffee and I love good coffee and I think I I grew out of the pots because I said I said they are very not eco friendly and I don't like that <clears throat> we have been using them until the machine broke down which is amazing I'm so happy the machine is broke broken because I really didn't want to use those pots anymore so that's one of the things so he's looking for the machine 
hopefully something nice for really really nice coffee and the best would be to have by one press of the button to have a lovely amazing coffee and also I wish for the machine to be a grinder as well so yeah a few little you know a few little bits um, to be important to me now I am I love fussy cutting but I know not everyone does love it and that's okay if you if you can't fussy cut her what you can do is like with the blending itself it's just a matter of finding the right combination of your color to match up with the background so basically you're looking for a paint to match up with your background we will be doing that with the dockies with the background however I wanted her to be fussy cut because she is not that difficult to fussy cut and I don't mind this I have to say she is so beautiful uh, oh yes um, I tell you well it's no secret I'm working on the new books but uh, there are books that are really very close to be finished and I'm so particular excited about, well about all of the books but I know that one of your one of the books is you are going to be even more excited because I know that many of you love Sferin Blooms because you can work with the backgrounds elements and all and you can work with within one book and that was the intention so one of the books that I'm currently working on it's actually finished I don't have the cover yet I'm working on that one of the books have this so you're gonna have you're gonna have the you're gonna have the backgrounds you're gonna have the elements and even words I included words as well in that book same as for the Christmas fairies which I think it's so superb I know a lot of you appreciate that that and I think you will appreciate the theme because it is very much these days theme plus I think it's the one of the well well it's like an ultimate good book of that theme I think you will absolutely adore it and I'm excited about it because it's one of the themes I would use the most often in my journal pages and words to that theme I don't want to spoil it too much but words to that theme I don't have any so this is going to be a game changer because you will you will like really appreciate the words included in the book for the journal pages so I think it's fantastic and it will also work and co co will be you can coordinate this book with the other books that's the beauty of the books when you get them I know a lot of you got them all so that's 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 amazing and thank you so much for that but I wanted to say that because they are in the same style because one person is making the images which is me that's why they all work with each other when you purchase other books most of them are a collection of different elements from different graphic designers so they're not made by the person who actually created the book this is why you may have this feeling that images are all over the place they just don't match with each other oh I'm sorry my phone they don't match with each other they just not from one sort of feel family and all which what I'm trying to do I'm gonna cut this image because it's a bit too delicate what I'm trying to do what I'm doing and since the first moment is making sure that our images are gonna work with each other so it's not on that you're gonna get a book and you'll be like I don't know what to do with it you will know what to do with it because every book and with next one that you purchase it will be just perfect with each other they will just work so don't have any worries about it no matter what book you're gonna decide but there was an interesting lovely question today in the current collage with Marami group the link to the group is in the description if you wish to check it out but there was a great question if you would have to choose one book which one would you start with and I think a lot of people most people said it was the fairies in blooms because it says fairies in bloom and backgrounds so yes you get the backgrounds starting points and the elements and the fairies and all so fairies and blooms if you didn't get any book yet it's a great starting point indeed it's a great first book um i i have my favorites i i have my books that i tend to go back to all the time but at the same time i feel that they really complement each other the books and I'm not trying to say get them all because ideally would be yes get them all but in the perfect world but in the real world we cannot afford to have all the books so I think having fairies and blooms it's a fabulous idea because it will really 
allow you to have the scenery, create the story within one book. So I think it's a fabulous uh, that this book has it all. It's not easy when you have such a large image. It's not easy to fussy cut it, I have to say. Um, okay, let me just check my phone, see who that was. That could be my mama, actually. I didn't speak with her yesterday, which it doesn't happen. We speak with my mom and dad. And Lucas is that every day. Well, definitely my mom, for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna check if it's her. This wasn't my mom. <laughs> it was actually Lucas's, Lucas, Lucas's brothers. Um, and I wanted to mention one more thing. When I have said about the images and the books, as well, if you will take a closer look, because my images are created by me, you're not gonna find them anywhere else, unless someone is trying to imitate my images. But they, you're not gonna have the same images, which in other books, because they're using the same, the same uh, sources of images, you actually, will, if you will look closer, you will see that the same images are appearing all over different books so you know different uh, book um, different book publishers or scrapbook papers but they have the same images actually I recently have seen uh, beautiful images of dwarves and gnomes and woodland creatures that I have already seen in the past few years in the collage books and some scrapbook company is using the same images so do you know what it's like that, that's that's probably the real difference so when you have the books you can be sure as well that they match with each other that the images there are purposely there to fit in within the next books the next books the next books that you will gather a collection of things like it's a, like a collection of images from magazines that they will just beautifully correspond and coordinate with each other because they all made by one uh, person which is myself unlikely 95 percent of the of the books out there or scrapbook papers i think that's the 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 difference if you may wonder why 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 that's why i guess it's i think it's good to mention it because i don't think people realize that and or maybe this is why you're wondering how come i love these books more than anything else or other books i think this could be i i wish to hope that this could be the actual reason for that all right do you know what i'm gonna actually fussy cut this leaf as well now i also wish to say that i'm not saying my books are the best i'm far from saying that i'm saying if you're not too sure you may truly enjoy them because whatever it's planned for the books it may actually really work for you so oops <laughs> so just you know it's it's a chance to be creative with those books in a pleasant easy way i think which is so important as well and no it's not everyone's cup of tea the books the themes the styles the whoa that was my rumbling belly the themes whatever like we all like different things and that's absolutely perfect now what we're gonna do if we have this inside there look cut it through the the, the um, leaf and that's okay because it will get back to its shape you know cut it through cut out what you don't need and this will be back you know actually same for here how to cut it cut it through don't be afraid don't be afraid to cut it through I think it's fine because this will still be back to its shape after cutting the element that we don't necessarily wish there to be no Okay, wow, I love it. It's coming together so nicely, I have to say. I also would love to have, look, cut through here so they can, so I can actually really cut out. Actually, there is a dress piece. So what I may do is I'm gonna just have this one out. There we go. I hope I'm in the camera um, <laughs> while I cut it so you can see. Because when I fussy cut, I don't think about it where I am in the camera. <laughs> I'm so focused on 
fussy cutting. Um, now even fussy cutting, it's it's like a, a craft itself, right? <laughs> it it may be difficult indeed. I could have, I, I, I guess I could have just dislocated the flower, separated from the fairy. I just didn't want to do it. I don't know why. I just, I just didn't want to do it. But you could easily. Okay, so that's that. Oh. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous looking. Now, this beauty goes there. And let's see. The colors. Look at the colors. They are just happy with each other now. There is this sense in me that the ducky is going to be covered. But I think I will sacrifice her. <laughs> I think I will. Same for these. I can just move this around a little bit or or she could be above this let's see if she can be above it if we can somehow make this happen she could be sitting on something or let's see let's see or this could be somehow I, I honestly don't know but I will figure it out we will figure it out together how to make this work so that oh so that it's beautiful it is beautiful like that she could be actually sitting on something there um, one minute let's just put these here oh and let's have a look at our um, at our rice papers there the night time and all this could be nice this we could separate that as well and have a little bit of this going on Ooh, that is so beautiful right that is gorgeous could be there then this little bit could be there possibly somehow oh wow it is lovely jubbly now could she sit somewhere like could she actually sit on some mushroom or is this too much of the um i don't know guys but i i'm 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 curious to find out if we can somehow maybe sit her on the mushroom i don't know let's see let's see if this is even like doable uh imaginable oh look She could be on some sort of mushroom me so th this could be on top or something let's have a peek size wise as well oh or if not that pink which I love I must say could be this pink let's see she could be on somehow this one next to her Hmm, that is it. very interesting. That is very interesting. I do love it. I do love both this and that. However, I think that... I don't know. Do you know what? I think I'm tempted for this one. And I'm tempted to as well rip it and see if we can actually have... A possibility of somehow blending in let's see okay and same for here one second that's a lot of images right so basically what happened is that we are gathering the images right now trying to imagine the composition trying to imagine how this could work together <laughs> <laughs> and hope for the best right let's let's try it again so we had our background dish papers something something like here our music notes we could we could technically have it like even like here if we want to then this little fella was there then we found that this could be lovely on top of it yes then this could be here then this part could be here how to collage in style <laughs> this could be here and she could be somehow 
I'm not too sure that she should be on top of the duckies. <laughs> Maybe we could cover the duckies. N no, cover her her totos. Something like that. And somehow blend it in here. Oh, maybe like this even. Maybe... One minute. I don't know, just... just I'm just out loud thinking, you know? So she's there. The mushroom is there. Mm, barely visible, actually, maybe. Positioning, I, I do love what I see. I do love, I think the colors are phenomenal. Um, they, oh, they, oh, maybe we don't even need the mushroom right now. Oh, I know. How about if we try to find one more flower that will correspond with this? I think there could be, maybe there is a flower that I actually um, make it few, made it few of the same. Yes, there is a similar one this one or wow this could be if I manage it to fussy cut that I'm trying to see this could be nice one second there is a lot of looking but I think this is the this is the actual fun for me to look for this perfect image that could be just right for the book uh, for the project Okay, if not this, one second, where's the, well, we have the Botanica, which could be just right as well. Ooh, oh, this color is so beautiful for, for her. Wow, bluey, right? Then we have this pink, which could be, oh, the Botanica book is so underrated, I think. It is phenomenal book. I, I have to say. I'm gonna grab the blue one. Will I? Help me out here. Hear me out here. I don't know. I just feel that the color scheme, it's just such a great mixture with with the sky and the dock in there. Uh, I'll have a C. I have a C first. You can actually change your ideas through the project, and that's okay, you know, it's not, like you can see that for me, creating amazing composition, some beautiful combo, it's the same as for everyone else. I, it's like, I still don't have answers 100% what would be best. Every project is different, every idea comes to life differently, and I think this is the most beautiful part of it, we just don't know. Oh, this could be just perfect. Let's see. One second. If she could be somehow behind this flower here and the dock as well. I don't know. Or she, or this could be on top of her. I'm back and I have Elman's Fussy Cut, but it's getting harder and harder to see how we can do stuff. So let's just glue it down. I think once we're gonna start with our backgrounds here, we're gonna figure it out the next steps. Um, what I'm gonna use is, I'm just looking around for my favorite glue, a recent favorite. Like I've had different favorites. <laughs> uh, I had even the big uh, Pritt stick favorite, which became not so favorite super soon because it was clocked and I couldn't open it. But this one, the Elmer's one, the recent stickable one it's fabulous now before I forget to maybe mention it this is the Strathmore watercolor um, art journal it's 300 grams which is very thick a link is in the description for definite um, do you need this watercolor journal no honestly oh and before anything I'm gonna grab tape just in case um, there is this spine in the middle thingy you can use any masking tape in the middle. I'm using tape that I have from uh, Studio Light. I love it. It's a uh, quite expensive tape, but it's white. And if someone is looking for white, it's great. And the set is consisted of three different sizes of tapes. I do love it. I bought it for watercolors to work around my around my paintings but since now <laughs> I very little do watercolors I'm super happy to just use it in general and I'm using it in the middle as well 
but you can use any masking tape that would work guys okay I can see sense that this is going to be a very long video but how how bad I guess um, sometimes we may say oh it's too long like I hear people saying come on Marta um, you talking too much <laughs> I still get those comments you talking too much or ah, oh, you could just sum this up uh, in much shorter <laughs> video and I'm thinking gosh we are so different and I no longer feel um, bad if my video is like long like today's one I think it's gonna be long but what I could do is I could technically make a page like this beforehand and then just teach you how I did it and do it again but I think the beauty of showing as well maybe the mistakes maybe the steps that I'm not too sure of and then fixing it or um, sort of uh, redoing or rethinking and the process the, 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 the general the, the original general process of thinking behind I think it's so good to hear so important as well so if any of you is in the rush then most definitely my videos are not for those who are in the rush but if you are curious of the whole process of things of how things could be now great thing about this glue is that it's restickable so it does really restick back and you can re remove it sort of thing on the side and all okay so what was the what was the next step I um, you could technically as well glue the whole page right however I do like the idea of ripping of making it more interesting there's texture that it's like coming out coming out from it because of it so I think that's nice now this may be going here we will be doing um, I will be doing the the side I will get rid of that side that's what we get uh, you usually with the rice papers with the print we have that so I think I think in this case like I like to rip off the rice papers but in this case uh, in this case the side one it's good to just cut it now rice papers my rice papers still are only available in my store not Amazon only our store we ship worldwide except UK at least for now um, I'm I hope to find someone who will be able to ship to UK instead of me Brexit had had changed our lives forever and it's impossible for me to order from UK uh, it's very difficult they don't want to ship it to me to Ireland and same for us it's for a tiny business as our they made it very difficult to run a business to UK and deal with the UK so we had to just say no to it um, and it's very upsetting because there are so many of you my friends from UK I'm glad that all the books all the books 11 books at, as of today it's 11 books sometimes you may be watching it two months later there could be three more books I don't know but as of today the September the no it's not even September <laughs> it's August 28th as of today we have 11 books and those are available in UK so um, and I'm working on the books that will have similar pages in the books it's not gonna be the same because rice paper and a book paper like it's not the same right it's not but I'm working on having books with the rice uh, with the rice paper designs so it, we're gonna have a bit of both and a bit of a mixture okay this is not moving so that's good I, I'm not I think I'm gonna leave this side I wonder should we do something in the middle and I'm thinking wouldn't that be interesting to add the textbook I found some book pages I have to say that the reason why I'm putting this upside down is because I don't read what's on the pages I'm grabbing some old book pages and I'm just happy enjoying them without thinking uh, actually what's written to be honest so if there is something <laughs> not so good I may not even notice it and um, I remember a situation I don't know how many of you remember that but there was a situation where um, there was F word I think on my music notes <laughs> I went to bed I said that story several times I went to bed and the film went on I went to bed and I got tons of comments saying Marta did you see the F word so I had to edit out that and yeah there was a lot of you <laughs> <laughs> making a comment and worrying so much I wasn't worried that much because it was a an honest accident so it's fine <laughs> but that's yeah that's how it was so, so I'm not reading it I'm just 
you know, enjoying a little bit of uh, a, a little bit of paper play, let's say. So basically, right now I'm filling the gaps in between. So technically, you could of course just add the page straight away without cutting, without adding anything, and that would be super good as well. But I like, you see, I like the idea of filling this. I'm not too sure if this is gonna go here as yet, which is okay. Uh, I will just have this element. I'm gonna rip it a little bit so that I know that I have a little bit of movement going on there. Let's see, maybe we're gonna fill in a little bit of book page here. That could be nice, so let's do that. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's bigger, smaller, less and more, it's all good. However, I do <laughs> I do like to have a little bit of even even in here when we do like abstract I still would jump in with trying to make this even ish somehow. I don't know, that's just my OCD I guess. Um you can use any glue. You can use spread stick as I'm doing, you can use gel medium. I'm using all sorts of glues at the moment. I'm trying to get rid of things, finish them finish them off because I have so many supplies. So like recently for example my Lucas when he made some order he made a tiny mistake and for example he ordered the thick gel medium instead of gesso, gesso and I won't be returning it. I will just use it. So I have loads of different things to use it up so that's how it is. Okay at least we have our background so that's not moving. Now there was a movement on my page um, due to a print error which is okay nothing to be worried about so I'm gonna fussy cut that but sometimes some books can have it sometimes they don't oopsie now there we go let's see this something along these lines just to see how it is and also we've got the, fl uh, the I want to see the flower but no it's the it's the tree there was a moon idea as well. Oh, I have said that I will get rid of those sides as well from the moon too. No. Oopsie. Mm, I, I'm, I don't know if I have mentioned to you, but I, I did the, I did a little break. I went to eat, and there was a phone call from a friend of Lucas. So I have been listening to that. Couldn't record really while they were chatting, and I didn't want to say to Lucas oh go elsewhere so I sat down as well while they were having a lovely conversation so I worked on few pages of the new book so I created uh, I think three four new pages for the next book so yeah use your time widely wisely Marta right okay so that's what we have right now I think it looks spectacular I really love what I see I'm not too sure yet which direction this should go but look oh, it's coming together so nicely how about <gasps> wow actually she could be filling this gap here somehow with this flower instead of going there because now there either it's going to be like equally equally that doesn't look too good then it could be here so it's going to be covering the dock which we love the most it could be somehow like this but then it's covering her you know the idea was there but Look, I fussy cut it before I thought that I may not need it. Look at this. Mm. I don't know if I... Oh. What if... I have this vision of somehow... Wow. What if... No. I think she should be on top. What if we grab parsley... P p probably one more flower what if she's gonna be lower one second you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna get this one off I can still glue it down if I need to I'm just trying to figure it out the easier way to move it around look so that's here that it's like a puzzle making right I oh, I love it I can still I can still f cut these away don't worry about that <gasps> Oh, I love this now. Now this can be on top of here. 
oh my daisies this is so pretty yes I covered up the small dock now I will have to fussy cut this or yeah well or one second or this could go underneath it no no totally not but I can just have the this off one second this here this could go like this and she could be side sided or something the dog seems to be that she's gonna be somehow going <laughs> being covered it looks like it or oh, maybe not let's see oh I love it so much look like that and we have the dog the dog the dress that it's covered lovely with the or oh, one second what if she sits down on half of the flower or something let's see no hmm one moment what if I will cut these I don't know if that's gonna do any good to us I have no clue but let's see so I have extra half an hour because Lucas is just gone for Hannah and he's gonna walk he's so good I have to say he is so good okay what if mm, that doesn't make any sense no no I thought it may but one moment please no I don't know what I was thinking maybe I was just hoping that no I don't know what I was thinking guys I hope you can understand that I didn't know my plan for this but I, I've just tried I've just tried so that's it's good to try regardless mm. okay or this could be just on the bottom like that like like so so it is like very much bottom I'm gonna do that I think oops uh, that's not here Marta I guess it could be I guess it could be like here as well which is here lower slightly smaller lower oh I love it so much I really do it is coming so nicely together. I'm trying to see if I can somehow reuse this little leftover, but I, I, I'm doubtful. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Okay, that's what we have right now. So my question is, what's next, Marta? And I think our next step is going to be glue these, glue her, and then the rice papers at the end, I think. Yes. Oh, I love it. Now, as well, in the meantime, Mm, what would be good possibly would be to have a little bit of a washy wash uh, underneath it the text uh, under her on the text so she would be more visible we can do that in a minute we can do that let's say middle part let's try and see if we can have a little bit of that I have this cream gesso I've never tried it before Ugh. it's from brand called pretty get oops <laughs> It's by Lynette Jasper. Is it fritty? Pretty gets fritty? I hope so. I hope I'm not... Pretty gets gritty? I don't know if I'm... Oh, I like the color. Let's see, because my thinking is... Can we... Well, first of all, I'm going to grab clear gesso. <laughs> because clear gesso is good. Our primer here and I'm gonna just grab clear gesso to make it wettish on top of the text and now I'm gonna grab that gesso and see if the color is gonna be oh lovely it's oh I love that so it's this nice and gentle wash of a whitey creamy color so what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to have the text see but not as visible so she's gonna be looking far more um, what's the word well she, you, we will see her much better because of being 
um, because of being on under on top of something that it's slightly washed oh I love that idea okay so let's do the little bit of wash. I got this as a gift from this brand because I think this lady or someone have heard of me looking for cream gesso and this brand have contacted me and I said I, I would love to test out your product absolutely. Um, so if you're wondering, yes, I got these, this and I got their clear, clear gesso. So we will be testing this out. Um, and I'm so excited to see the cream gesso because I remember someone as well was mentioning this to me that Marta there is someone that makes cream gesso so here, here is it and I think they are UK brand correct me if I'm wrong um, oh I love that washy look so it's not white but it's washy and I like that idea okay so we have a good start we can still redo more if we feel like it We'll see how this goes. And um, where's that tool? I have this tool and last time I've used it, I think it, I think this tool is great for making things um, flatten because this paper, it does somehow, oh, it does work. Oh, and it also moves my things even more it's this catalyst I got this because of making my surface flat look this is moving too much but that's due to glue that it didn't I guess dry out yet that's movable glue okay let's see okay wow I'm happy with what I see right now mm, and my next step would be actually to indeed add oh no way no way this fell down on my dock there's always something going on Marta isn't it with you that's a clear gesso that's okay we would we would add some clear gesso on top of that anyway so it's fine but it's just the idea that <laughs> I, I think I wanted to do it on my own terms guys on my own terms now I'm gonna clean that. I don't know how this happened. I must have opened the clear gesso and this just flew on top. That's okay. We're gonna try to rescue it. Hopefully it will work. Okay, so I'm adding this. This glue is great but it's not as gluey. So you can move it but I don't think it's gluing that super well if you know what I mean. No with the surface on top exactly being wet and me trying to move it on top I thought so that I'm and I'm gonna end up with ink being going away hmm. I'm gonna see if I can still try, and try to rescue it I could have dried beforehand there's always, you see this will happen because of the we're gonna try to fix this. That's okay, Marta. Relax. It's fine. It's fine. Now, will this help or make it worse? Hannah says worsen, which I think it's so good. It will make it worsen. I don't know if that's any help. Okay. Let's just not focus on that part. Let's focus on this one, which doesn't have clear gesso on top. I'm always uh, the person that makes a mistake. I sometimes send an invoice with wrong pricing or invoice with wrong missing some piece on the invoice. Like and Lucas always goes, this is why I'm doing that Marta because you are just a ball of rush. You're rushing so much always that it is just what happens with you rushing, which is true. Now, the next step is the tricky one because we will be adding hair on to under the docks. So we have the docks ready, right? Glue down and we need to have I can always add more. Okay, let's see. 
So she supposedly go under the docks. So let's grab the docks and Where's the flower? The flower. She. I think she should go even lower, if possible. Mhm. Mm I think so. And we meant to cut out maybe part of it. Maybe not all of it, but maybe part of it, just to see how this is. And then we have the flower. Perfect. Oh wow, she's in the middle. Mm, nice one. Now, not all of her hair pieces are glued down. That's because I didn't add glue everywhere because I wasn't too sure where she's gonna be placed. So that's okay. We're gonna add glue here since everything is now sort of in place. Same for this flower. Okay, same for here, and I'm gonna try to have her hair pieces and her hand is all, and her pieces back in here. Now that's lovely. Oh, everything is coming nicely together, and that, that, that I think part of making the composition could be troublesome how to make the composition, what to choose for your project. I guess the easiest for me is to color, color, color. Look for the colors that matches up. Check the sizing for the images, depending on what images you would like to use, whether it's fairy, whether it's flower, whether it's animal. There we go. super awesome and okay and the flower oh, this could go a bit better than that and the flower I like this glue because I can still move things around and if I'm not too sure about something, it is really helpful. It is really, really helpful. Okay, so that's our that's our idea for the flower, the duck and all. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm not too sure how we're gonna blend this part. Maybe we won't even. I don't know, it looks too good to me though. <clears throat> and I think what would be beautiful would be to have a little bit of white now, white gesso. This is white gesso, is it? It is, but I have already opened white gesso, right? Do I? I should have white gesso. And I'm going to go, go um, here where the white, this is where the... Uh, mm, this is where our rice paper will go because rice paper is semi-transparent it would be nicer to have the white under this bit so it, it would be more visible you will see in a minute same for here um, no actually here not so much because it will we will try to somehow blend in here is okay I think because this brown unless we want to have a little bit of that where the tree go is gonna be under the tree okay same for here mm. if you have white surface bright surface underneath it it works best for the rice paper so that's definitely something to have in mind and now let me grab this we need to dry we need to dry this now oh, I love it love it um, 
this I will wash it just in case. Let me let me dry these and we will get back with our with our rice papers. Oh lovely. We have our elements dry. Let's add our our rice paper. And I'm using clear gesso. Check the links to clear gesso. I know there is some in the UK shop that stock them. I don't know in the USA if there's anyone stocking clear gesso from Little Birdie, but I do know for a fact that they do stock it in the Netherlands, two shops and one in the UK or two in the UK. If I have any links, I will post them, of course. I wish to make sure that our flower is visible, so I got rid of a tiny element that was covering up. There we go. Clear gesso, depending on the brand, will also adhere and act not only like a primer, but also as a glue, and that's what this clear gesso is doing from Little Birdie. It is working like, like a primer and like a glue as well. Not every gesso does it. This one does and that's what I that's what I love about this gesso. Now same for this bit we're gonna do. Let's do it. Whoopsie. Now let's have this going on here. There we go. Um, I think I'm gonna just grab a little bit of glue here while this is somehow stick out now oops that's a lot <laughs> okay and let's have this one out here to the side oops <laughs> I just that touched it oh lovely now one thing I see is that we're gonna change that look underneath it you can see that line can we get rid of it let's try it let's see so what I would try to do and suggest let's see that cream gesso or cream paint or whichever paint you have or maybe you have this one the cadence one which is also good so let's see if we can somehow it's not too late to try to soften this edge so we're gonna try to soften this edge basically oops and also paint on the book so we're going to try to soften this edge where the dock is. So far, looks good. There we go. What happens if we're going to grab this color? That's also good. It's much darker. But let's see, just quickly. You see, it's already looking better. Now, are we able to add maybe white gesso on top? I'm sure we can. So one second, let's just slowly build this. Okay, let's dry this a little bit. And let's see if white gesso would be even bigger help to us. Especially here on the edge 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 where there's a paper the dark paper that meets up with the rest I think we're slowly getting rid of that gap in here let's see yes it is now one second Mm -hmm. Now let's try this a little bit. And let's go over once more. I, I'm pretty sure you can hear my <laughs> little fly going around the room. Okay, and let's see now how this will be. Um, we probably should dry this, so let's dry this a little bit. And 
we should just add clear gesso once more so let's do that and let's hope for the best <laughs> as my Lucas says oh look at it <gasps> this is so good this is so good now we probably will need extra gesso here there we go I'm even using my right hand that never happens <laughs> and here as well because everything dried because we just made a little bit of a change which is okay you know there we go wow -y. now this has a bit too much white that's okay we can still do a little bit of play going around which we will in a second when everything dries we need to have this line somehow um, blend in we shall see we shall see I'm super super happy with what I see right now now this could go a little bit more same for her little piece now ideally would be to add gesso now a little bit as well on our flower on our girl as well especially the edges there we go mm -hmm. same for her face beautiful beautiful now it is a work of love dedication collaging of this size but it's also so interesting because we really have to stretch our <laughs> our selves and our imagination to create such a large scale collage for me it's large like for me it's really big it's not something i'm used to it um but but it, i do love it i do love it i think the size of this girl is so beautiful and perfect for the dogs I think it works magical okay now mm -hmm. this could be a little bit more flat there is so big surfaces then the flatness of it it's not as easy but it's okay you know I, I think I'm gonna flatten it once it's dry dry now the closing of the book is gonna be tricky because it will rip Oh, see it's gonna change everything and you know ideally would be not to rip her ideally would be not to have her in the middle but that would be like I don't know wrong in my sense like it's okay even if she's gonna I'm gonna have a photo and all and if she's gonna be slightly destroyed when it's finished finish and dry and after a while I'm gonna close the book she will suffer I'm sure bit by bit here but that's okay I don't mind that oh I love it I love it love it I love that she's in the middle like she looks so gorgeous so gorgeous okay I also have this vintage cadence antique gesso color wise mm, this could be as well very interesting color it's a grit one what antique gesso is it with grits what is going on in this one <laughs> one second because that looks <gasps> no oh no well it's amazing for if you would create texture from that gesso like oh oh wow it would be fabulous but <laughs> not i think not for my needs at this moment anyway i'm gonna grab a piece of paper just to see how this look i guess it's just what is it it's a sand stones sand like this color of gesso would be amazing without the grid come on cadence <laughs> do you have gesso like that i'll get it in a heartbeat look at the color could be so nice and let's <laughs> what a disaster to me not to someone but to me it's not written it's grid is it it's well it's not it's legend antique gesso well it's no no you I couldn't guess this is gonna be grit so sorry no I couldn't guess that let's see this color of the other one 
similar well then we're gonna stick with this one it's much brighter nearly too bright for my liking or not well it's most definitely not as um, what's the word not as um, pigmented which is good because it's easier to add extra color on top than get rid of the color I think so from that sense it's good because we can just have a little bit of a play without having a huge strokes of color that we don't know how to work around you know so I'm gonna try it's actually good I'm gonna try and have a little bit of that gesso going in those lines in here trying to see if I can somehow mute mute the lines in between same for here let's see how we can mute these with each other hello fly <laughs> okay I don't know if I should have maybe mix that gesso beforehand for as in mix it up what's that color let's go back to this color um, let's go back to everything is still drying so it's not that this one is darker much more pigmented it's quite similar actually if you ask me uh, I do love this color still nothing changed I see that I'm drawn to this color somehow and I'm trying to get rid of these lines in here between the rice paper and music notes because everything is this then brownie color mm-hmm okay that's good let's see if we can do something here what can we do here actually like this little bit let's see if we can do something about this here can we I don't know color it somehow what's going on here I guess I can go around the flower as well I guess right and do a little bit of coloring in here uh-huh that's definitely what I can do and here mm -hmm. I will move this around one second so I'm trying to you can already see that the that the line is gone it's already good and gone because I covered it up you know you oops you can have a little bit of a play here and here if you wish and even on the docks here let's see one minute because I didn't finish this here okay I like that it's it is looking good it is looking good actually now the docks here <laughs> the only thing is that when there's no water it's harder to blend in with acrylics you know because it dries very fast you couldn't see sorry it's nothing I to show you to be, <laughs> to be honest I didn't do the best job in this one with this one with this blending here I'm not too sure yet how to blend in too well I may just have a little bit of that touchy touchy thing here just to see just to soften up the edges and all <clears throat> that work that part work way better this one worked so much better with this and I can even 
uh, simulate the a little bit of that same movement here to get rid of that um, to get rid of that darkness you know let's see something is about good happening let's see Probably a little bit of a green we would need and that would be good. Now similar here, let's see if we can just have a little bit of color fixture here. Mm -hmm. So where the edges are, it's the darkest and then the further we go, I'm trying to somehow blend in this with the rest hope that makes sense wow that is gorgeous now I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna do here with the dark this part oh. we could probably make some more clouds I guess could we? we could have We could have, same for here, we could actually pretend the clouds, the cloud making. <laughs> oh, you didn't see, I'm sorry, one second. I, let me just fix that again. So we are kind of pretending doing the clouds. Same for here. And we could do the same here. Then, where is the white gesso? We could add a touch of white gesso on top of that too. Because in the actual um, sky we have white, to, white clouds too, right? Everything always looks better as well when it's dry, guys. So have this, have this in your mind. This is so beautiful. I love it. I do love it so very much. Wow. I would love to do a similar thing in here. So we could have a jump in with the color here to well it, it's turning out that we're doing clouds so I didn't plan the clouds but they somehow <laughs> happened to be and that's okay and we can have this white as well in here on top of the cloud kind of thingy oh wow this is so beautiful <gasps> oh dear oh dear me I'm gonna have more white this time so the top part is going to be more of a white white um, sky-ish oh I love it this is so one second I need to bring the camera further I'm back and back look at it it is so beautiful now this kind of bend it, bend it a little bit that's okay and I'm adding even more white and this is this is so gorgeous and everything is still wet you can see that I'm painting wet on wet and accidentally we're creating clouds on the surface how beautiful is that why not you know so we have some clouds here this is so gorgeous this is so <laughs> I'm so loving that <gasps> I'm so loving this wow white here Marta as well why not oh wow this is so amazing wow no this kind of chipped the paint from my <laughs> from my finger 
I love it. It's so beautiful. It is so gorgeous. Now, it would be amazing to find a little bit of that tealy color, sort of tealy color, so that I could have a little bit of a play here with the color where that... Well, just to fix in with a little bit of a teal maybe here as well. Let me let me see if we can find something. I have some crayons. Tim Holtz crayons. I don't know if that's the color. I honestly don't know what to think of it. But I'm gonna chance it and see. I feel it's a little bit too bright nearly. And what about this color? Oh, this is more like it. Or both of these, actually. Maybe I could have a bigger brush that would... I don't know. Let's see. And clean clean water, which is here. So we're gonna try to have a little bit of a <laughs> decoupage going on. Let's see if we can have a little bit of that color back here. Because... A tiny bit of a color got rid of that here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Gentle. So the whiteness is maybe gone, but um, also gentle amount. So the actual color isn't as striking maybe gentle I don't know just gentle here and there hello <laughs> hello fly you definitely wish to be part of today's video <laughs> I can see all of these are bits from my f mm, painting with the finger that's okay look this dried and it looks not too bad I don't know maybe we can have a little bit of a play here not too bad, not too bad. A little bit of that color here. Mm -hmm. Oops, that's too much. Now, if there is a gesso there, we sort it because the gesso will help us to get rid of the color. Eh, not necessarily. That's okay. Well, this will do. This will do. A little bit of that. I think that's just too much of a teal sort of color. So yeah, that's the that's the problem. Uh, maybe same for here. We're gonna just go with it, a little bit of that. Now, if I feel that mm, Marta, it's a bit too much. What's going on? What we're we gonna do? I don't know. But let's try and see if we can actually maybe add. Oops. Oops. I don't know this color. What's that color? Mm, no, maybe no. Maybe what's that color? Purple, blue. Mm-hmm. Or another one is we could play no a little bit with that gessoy color. Um, I'm just a little bit skeptic about skeptic about it because because if there is no clear gesso on top, the movement will be very little. So be careful about that. The movement of your gesso. No. If you wish to soften it a little bit, I just added a touch of that gesso, the creamy gesso. A lot of water on my brush so that it's more like a wishy wash than anything and it is helping to create a little bit of that <sighs> painting. Now what bugs me the most is the fact that the ducky lost a bit of a color in her which is, is this a brownish color for her or mm, that could be a little bit of it maybe, yeah I think so. She could be having this a bit of that color there going on. Oh, lovely, actually. Mm-hmm. There we go. Super. So, Doc is actually lovely. So now, 
what I destroyed by accident this little bit. Can we somehow fix it? What's that pink? Is, was that pink there? Maybe it was. Maybe it's me. And also I can tell and see that I painted here accidentally, didn't I? That's okay. That's okay. Just to see. Sometimes it's good to, you know, see what's going on around. Maybe a little bit of that brown, brownie touch with a tons of water. So it's m more like a watercolor washy effect. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm, just a little bit, same for here and maybe here and not necessarily a little bit of a pink uh, or this what's that color? no that's orange, that's wrong Marta um, it's hard to tell, there's a mixture of colors isn't it? it's something in between pink and um, pink and a little bit of a white and dark bluey but let's focus Marta on here what could we add here actually this this is this could be fixed but how what about if we have the the no not this color a gray one no. Oh, oh, actually, that's that is close to this color. Actually, here <sighs> it is. Oh, that is so nice. A little bit of that washy color of the marker, of the Karen marker. That is nice. The, the gesso didn't go there, so you have to make sure the gesso is everywhere if you want to color it and all. What about adding, oh, look, oh my daisy, it is looking very good, look this, we can just have a little bit of a play, wow, that is so good, wow. What about these here? Hmm. I think we need to take them off. Bye bye. And try to see if we can have a little bit of that play there. Or, if not this color, then how about a pink color one second i will try to see some colors is this the same color <laughs> it's possibly the same skin and soft peach no they're different no wrong color no wrong color i was thinking about this one but no we just clean it off quickly Or another thing that could be good. Um, oh, there's another grays that are here. Let's see. I think it's getting better anyway. Ooh. One second. And the thing is, too, somehow make this flying in here, swimming in here. I don't know if that makes sense. So that it does not feel that this is coming from nowhere. Mm -hmm. I 
I'm sorry for being super quiet, but I'm super concentrating, <laughs> super focused. Now, it's still not the exact shade I'm thinking. A little bit of, uh, which is okay, you can change the shade as well. It matches the other ones, the underneath it pink and all, which is great. But I'm thinking still to have a little bit of that, I don't know if it's this green or, no, it's not. It is not matter. It is not. Maybe this one? No. Um, I'm not too sure what color exactly is that. Oh, it's like a gray, dark black. It's closer to black than anything. Oh, maybe this one? Yes, it is a little bit of this one, actually. Look. Let's see if we can have a little bit of that here. Build up here somehow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so interesting now so we somehow build it up so that it doesn't feel that it's on its own wow I love the color. It's this dark gray, green something. What about this one? No, that's a different color, but it's okay. I guess you can add a little bit of that brown, but no. Let's see. No. No, no, no. That green is good. Which. Oops. No, that's also brown. Brownish, even though it's in the gray scale. <laughs> It is no. I hope you can see. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. No. I'm gently with my with the touch of my brush with the bristles and all like gently playing here right now and just having literally a time of my life. <laughs> I love that. Now, I also have my pen, which could be a nice addition, if anything. Mm -hmm. The pilot pen for the rescue. And the pilot pen also has a little bit of that in them. It's water reactive. The palette pen is not made for <laughs> mixed media, but I do use it and I do love using it and having a total fun with it and experiment of this kind. Wow. Whatever happened there, whatever sort of play we had, I think it looks artistic. I think it blends in. It kind of gives us the of what's going on there attitude which is okay I think it's it gave us the permission of play of learning of just seeing what's going on I love it I think it's fabulous I do think that I really do I do love here as well mm, that darker green with that with that suit here let's see I don't know I just you just have to kind of play as you go, I guess, you could have a little bit of that greeny as well, sort of check. The current markers are reacting fabulous. Um,
Now I love the idea as well of adding that um, pilot pen thing. Wow. This is this is like fabulous. I love it. Ooh, I have to say it's a very very long video, right? But it's very detailed as well to really figure the figure things out. Is it a perfect way of doing stuff? No, but is it a good um, play? Is it a good way of seeing how you can incorporate so many different elements in such a different way? You have a book text, a textbook, sorry, a music notes, a rice paper, a fossicot element, a full element that you need to somehow figure it all out together. So I'm gonna clean this dry it and I'll be right back. I think from the Christmas book we're gonna cut out magical I think. I think it's gonna be fabulous. No. It's the first time I'm cutting the Christmas book. I didn't even show it to you yet on the internet on the video. I will record it tomorrow. <laughs> but for now I really wanted to have a play with our journaling. Hello. Hello. Hannah was the first day in school today. Was it not good? Not like I'm in, um, not like I'm in preschool. I went to first class. First class. Yes. Magical. <gasps> Look. That is so beautiful. I love magical home. How is that? Magical home. Magical home. I'm going to put it magical home together. I love that. So how was your school, Hannah? How was the first, or first magic day? magic shine. Magic shine? Magical shine? Magical shine. Let's do that. You prefer magical shine? No problem. Let's do it. I like that idea too. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have to figure out how are we going to get that shine. Yeah. One. Shine is shine here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you're hungry, you said. You said you're starving, is it? That's one of my very old projects. Like super old, you know? Okay, I have to say to get the page, the, I think I may just get this page. Uh, cut out completely and just cut out the elements, the, all the Mommy, all the words. I, I may do that. Hmm? What should you wear? Oh, I don't know. Just whatever you feel comfortable with. So magical shine. Thank you, yeah. Hannah. In case you're wondering, the Christmas fairy book. With our, look at our, I'm so proud of them. Those are Emily's idea. Our chubby fairies. I love them. There's more. There's more cute cuteness overload in there. Magical shine. Now, I'd say we will get the magical shine. Oh, I love this so much. Magical shine. That was my idea. It was your idea. Thank you so much. Magical shine. Oh, I love it. It could be there, actually. Or there. No. No. I think Can it's... I don't know if I have anything. You can have a look if there's some new t-shirt or something. Why new? You like new? You, you know, it's you know it's not possible to have something new every day. Well, like we do have some in the you know where on the in the spare room. Yeah. Yeah, we can have a look. Go and have a look now. I'm gonna just finish this off. Now, magical shine. Uh, this is actually so. Well. Huh? Okay, have a look, have a look. Magical. Today's homework. Yes. Yes. Get the jumpers, the names. All Get right. The jumpers, the names. That's a homework. I like that homework. Magical. Magical shine. This is so beautiful. Oh, I so love it. It's there, but it's not in your face. And... Oh, 
okay my beautiful friends I think I'm gonna finish it that I'm so proud of this page now you have the you have the mixture of all sorts of papers so it doesn't really matter whether you're using scrapbook rice paper tissue paper old book pages it is like really possible doable to to mix it all up um, from my side I can promise you more videos coming this way if you would like well I'm sure you would like I would love that it's a very fun to blend in college papers with each other it's a challenge but I think it's such a such a beautiful way of making journal pages and telling the story and I love that thank you so much it's always a pleasure in the description box I will try to put all the actual links for the products I've used for this page so check the description box below all the Amazon books are available all the all the my books all 11 books is available on Amazon all Amazons or my online store marimsmoller.com so check them out and if you purchase the college books if you could give a chance a time to give a review on the on the amazon page that would be fabulous to put some stars review i would really appreciate that and there was something else i wanted to say but i i i, I think i I think I forgot. Thank you so much. As always, a pleasure to be in your homes. Let me know your thoughts. I can't wait to hear it. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.